Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how you can install Apache Airflow and how you can configure with Docker. So let's start. So before starting all the process, we need one IDE for installing and starting all the process. So let me show you. Currently I am using VS Code. So this is VS Code. So let's start how you can install this one. Open browser. So here type VS Code and click this link. Currently I am using Windows so I have to download Windows those who are using different OS so they have to download VS Code for their OS so I will also put this link in description box they have to download that one after installing this one so interface is looks like this way so let's start so installing that Apache Airflow so I created one custom github so in that github I added all the configuration folder so you have to easily download this one so I will also put this link in description box you have to download that one click this repository after clicking that one the repository you could see apache airflow docker you have to open that one so here I added one zip file for apache airflow so you have to download that zip file after open that zip file there is two way you have to download that one you have to click view raw or else you have to directly click download so after clicking that one so download already completed let me extract it so as usual you are uh, extracting that zip file right so same way you have to extract that zip file so here you can see there is a folder has been created docker airflow master so let me open this folder in vs code so there is two way you have to open that one there is open folder here and second one is this one so let me open that folder from vs code so stored in download let me open that one so in that folder you could see there are so many configuration file and folders are available let me explain some few things here you are using github it's like some configuration details we have to store in here i will explain briefly in upcoming videos so this is the airflow configuration file whatever configuration we have to modify we need to change from here and this is the DAG folder whatever DAG file we have to add here the DAG file that DAG file we can see in Apache Airflow UI so this is the script folder below one so you could see this entry.ss file starting of the Airflow this file will work and these two executor is like local executor and salary executor so the docker components we have to add here so let me so few points let me explain here so this is for image for web server so whatever UI level thing we have to change we have to add here so this is the image file of web server Puckle docker airflow and currently I am using 1.10.9 version this is for flower scheduler and this one for worker we have to add all the same image name in each field so this is the docker file uh, for starting of that uh, yml file we need this docker file so those who are using compose uh, linux file they have to use this one so here we can use if you want to uh, implement or add any pip module you have to call that one from here so this docker file for windows is not required those who are calling uh, or executing file from windows they have to download docker desktop for starting of the phase we have to add one command here let me add here docker hyphen compose hyphen a for force then you have to add that executor file name then hyphen sorry op hyphen d after executing this one it will start and initializing all the image and modules not modules image and instantiating all the local air flow in here so you can directly access that component by using docker commands so currently it's downloading and extracting all the files so let's see 
here you can see it started all the web server docker and scheduler all components by using this docker images command we can see docker images by using ps command we can see all the configuration details after completing these steps let me open docker desktop so here you could see one service has been created in here so you could see there is a option is here for web server scheduler and all the things so we have to open web server so you could see if i hover my uh, mouse in here so there is a arrow key is there you have to click that option after clicking that option it is redirect to your browser and it will open that airflow ui